Amen. Anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord just one more time? Can we put our hands together. Can we put your hands together and bless the name of Jesus? Oh, come on. Y'all can do better than that. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Songs I feel your spirit all over me. I feel your spirit all over me. It's in my hands and my soul. Down in my feet. Yeah. I feel your spirit all over me. I feel your spirit. Psalms, can you stand to your feet for the reading of God's word? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Yes, Lord. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Yes. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Yes. Now this part is where everybody come in. Let everything. Oh, come on. Let everything. Let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. Now can somebody do it? Somebody do it. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Father God, we give you thanks on today. Father, we give you glory on today. God, we believe you to be a God that can do anything yeah, but fail. Yeah, yeah. 
Ooh, so God, today, you, we pray that you do just that, God. Praise Meet the God. needs in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Heal, deliver, and set free. Hallelujah. God, show your hand strong in the name of Jesus. Yes. God, people need to hear a word from you. Hallelujah. Right now, I pray that you remove all distractions, God, that would hinder, God, your word from going forth in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we break the back of the enemy right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we plead the blood of Jesus over every family that, that, that is represented here in the name of Jesus. The devil can't have your home in the name of Jesus. Y'all are talking to me. The devil can't have your family. The devil can't have your ministry. The devil can't have your walk. The devil can't have your talk. The devil has no room and no foothold here. We plead the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. We plead the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. We plead the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. God, we give you glory and honor right now, God. Come and move, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we're going to move forward. We need to set this atmosphere. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you need something to break, open up your mouth and say hallelujah. God, we thank you. God, we praise you. We give you glory, 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 glory. We give you glory, 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 glory. God, we come to you humbly right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 You said if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, turn from their wicked ways, and seek my face, then will you hear from heaven and heal the land. So God, heal the land. Heal the land in the name of Jesus. God, heal. Heal the land, heal the land, heal the land. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. And God will give you praise. God will give you glory. From out of our bellies, hallelujah. Out of our belly, we'll shout hallelujah. Out of our belly, we'll give you glory. Yeah. Yes, Lord, you're in the midst of our praises, God. So, God, we pray that you are in our midst right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Have your way in this service, oh God. Who, if you don't move, we don't want to, God. Hey, hey, hey. Who, like Jacob said, we won't let you go. My God. We won't let you go My God. unless you bless us, God. Yes, Lord. So, God, right now we're holding tight, holding firm to who you are, yes. believing what you're going to do. God, we come in here with expectation, God, and anticipation that you are still a God of miracles, signs, and wonders. And you can do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Yeah. Now, if anybody agrees with that, can you put your hands together? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Open up your mouth. Yeah. And somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Somebody, yeah. somebody say something to him. Say something to him. Say something to him. Come on, come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can you put your hands together as our praise team goes forth in the furtherance of our service? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Praise the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, if you're watching at home, I pray you to stand up on your feet. We truly come to give God all the praise because he is a great God. Come on, if you serve a great God, I dare you to put in the comments that our God is a great God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's lift up a song to our God. We worship you, God. We worship you, God. There's nobody like you, Jesus. Thank you. And this song goes through this. Everybody say oh 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 oh
Yeah. <laughs>
took away to him right now in this moment. God, I'm yours. God, I'm yours. I'm not holding back. I'm not holding back anything, but I'm yours, God. Take my hands, take my feet. You can use me any way that you choose, God. For I'm your vessel, God. We're your empty vessels. Give it to you one more time. Come on, say you can have all your surrender in here. Yeah. It's time out that we go to God prideful, just wanting to add him to our situations. But at this point, we come to God humbly, knowing that we cannot do anything without him. Oh, anybody know I'm telling the truth? We can do nothing without him. We can do nothing without him. Hallelujah. 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 I hear the Lord say, You can have your way in me. You can have your way in me. You can have your way. I'm yours. I'm yours. You can have your way. You can have your way in me. You can have your way. Have your way. You can have
somebody open their mouth and say Praise something to the Lord. Lord. Come on, offer up something to Him. Offer up something to Him. Offer up something to Him. Woo! We realize this worship is never going to feel comfortable. Oh, yeah, y'all ain't talking to me. Worship is not going to be moments when you feel comfortable. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, the Bible says that when Abraham took Isaac up to the mountain, he said, me and the lad are going up to worship. There was no organ. There was no singers. It was only a sacrifice to be made. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are y'all hearing me today? Now, if y'all not willing to sacrifice something, you're not willing to worship. Worship only happens in sacrifice. Worship worthy of what you're giving. He has to be worthy of what you're giving. But what are you willing to give up? Hallelujah. There's no way you can say you worship God and you ain't never changed. My God, my God. There's no way you can say you worship God but you ain't never put nothing down. My God. So right now, can we put down everything that we have and open up our mouths humbly? God, humbly we come to you. Thank you. Say that it's in you that we live, move, and have our being. We are unable without you. We are impotent without you. We have no power. Woo. We have no ability. We, we can't think. We can't move. You have given us the faculty of our minds. Woo. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. If it had not been for you, if it had not been for you, if it had not been for you, your name. hallelujah, who was on our side, yeah. hallelujah. If anybody's grateful, can you just open up your mouths? I'm, I'm sorry, I know if you're cutting the music off, but can you open up your mouths and make a sound of gratefulness into the room? Hallelujah. What does gratefulness sound like? There is a response when a gift is given. God gives himself freely unto you. What is your response? What is your response? Somebody ought to say, thank you, Jesus. Somebody 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 say, thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 All that's good and perfect comes from you, oh God. We won't be stingy with our praise, God. We won't be stingy with our world worship. Woo! We, we, we won't let you come in and we not respond. Woo! The Lord is in his holy temple. The whole earth stood silent. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I got no 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, while, while you're here, God, we'll say yes. God, while we can feel you, we'll say yes. God, while we can sense your presence, we'll say yes. Yeah. God, we'll renew our yes right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul. Yes, Lord. Oh, come on. Can somebody say yes to him? Say yes to him, my soul. There's a new yes needed today. 
Regardless of what you did last night, regardless of where you were last night, yes, yes, Lord. If you did everything right, still yes. If you did anything wrong, still yes. Yes, Lord. Completely yes. Now somebody just say yes. yes. Somebody just say yes, Lord. yes, Lord. God, we thank you for your presence that is tangible in this place. We thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We say thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. One more time, can we put our hands together? Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Too. Yeah, that's it. 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 That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. I, I, I think somebody heard from Jacob today and said they won't let him go. They won't let him go. I'm not going to let you go. I'm not going to let you go. I'm not going to let you go. Ooh, it has nothing to do with an order of service. I won't let him go until God does something for me. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Something happens for people with expectancy. Something happens for people with expectancy. Oh, come on. I love it. Come on, 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 come on. Come on, he's still moving, he's still moving. If you want something from God, come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ooh, the, the woman with the issue of blood only touched the hem of his garment. And the Bible declares Jesus turned around and said, who touched me? The disciples responded, everybody is touching you. But Jesus responded back. No, something happened where virtue left me. Somebody touched me with a proper expectation from me that pulled something out of me. Now, if you want something from the Lord, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. There, 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 there is no, no specific way to do it. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My soul say yes. My soul say yes. My soul say yes. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can we say a little bit of praise one time? Can we open up our mouths and just say hallelujah? Put your hands together and seal it with the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. Well, today is, is Father's Day. Today is Father's Day. Y'all yeah, would have responded better if it was Mother's Day. Don't, don't do us like that. Today is Father's Day. Amen. Today is a day when we get to honor the men in our lives that, 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 that imparted into our lives. Yes, Lord. The, the reality is, and I, people ain't gonna like when I say this, yes. a father is a man in your life. Yeah, that's right. A father is a man in your that's life. Right. Come on now. The man that imparts into your that's life, the it. man that souls into your life. That's it. I, 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 I love my mother, and, and I, I, I'm a true believer. My dad cannot be her. That's right. But it's also the same on the other side. My mother cannot be my father. That's right. We all need both in our lives. Amen. And today we get to honor the men in our lives. Somebody yes, say, Lord. thank you, Thanks. Jesus, for Father's Day. Amen. 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 I don't care how, how your father acted to you. Let's, let's be totally real. Because the Bible said, when mother and father forsake me, that's when the Lord is going to take you up. So if, if, if your father wasn't a good father, you have a good father in heaven. I, nobody talking back to me. Nobody talking back to me. If your father was no good, you have a father in heaven who cares for you, who loves you. Amen. 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 We are getting ready to move forward to the word. Everybody ready for the word of the Lord? Yes. Amen. Worship with the word and our, our hearts are, are postured to hear from God. Can you make sure that you are attentive to what the Lord is saying? Amen. Can you put your hands together as our pastor comes? Amen. God that gave you strength, 
Come on, come on, one more time. Give God a loud praise. Hallelujah. Praise Him. We need a word from the Lord. A word from the Lord. Just one word from the Lord will remove all the doubts and cause the sun to shine and give peace of mind. Speak, Lord. Speak. We Just one word from the Lord will remove all the doubts and cause the sun to shine and give peace of mind. Speak, Lord. Speak. Lord, speak, Lord. Oh, we open up our minds to you, Jesus. Speak, Lord. Come on and give Jesus, hallelujah, a praise. Hallelujah. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers that's watching us on Facebook Live. And all the fathers that, are, that is here at the Church of Restoration, we thank you, we thank you for being fathers, and we're asking God to give you the strength, amen, to be the man that God has called you to be, amen. Let's salute one more time our fathers. Hallelujah. Amen. From the Word of God, this might be an odd Father's Day message, but we're going to the Word of God. And we're going to read out of the book of 1 Kings, the 17th chapter. That's 1 Kings 17, yeah. starting at the 7th verse. And when you got it, say amen. 1 Kings, the 17th chapter and the 7th verse. Read to you. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. Amen. It reads just like this. And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. And behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. So he arose and went to Zarephath, and he came to the gate of the city. And behold, the widow woman was there gathering sticks. And he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. Mm -hmm. And she, and as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thine hand. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, 
that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, say fear not. Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me, but, but make me thereof a little cake first and bring it unto me. And after, and after, after make the, thee a cake for thy son and thyself. For thus saith the Lord of Israel, Lord God of Israel, the barrel of meal shall not waste. Neither shall the truths of oil fail mm -hmm. until that day the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And he went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and he and her house did eat many days. And the barrel of meal wasted not. Neither did the cruise of oil fail according to the word the Lord, according to the word the Lord which spake unto Elijah. Yeah. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearing and the reading of his word. Say with me what to do? What to do? When the brook dries up. Say it again. What to do? What to do? When the brook dries up. Come on and give God praise. What to do when the brook dries up? We see here, we see here in our lesson, we see here in our lesson that Elijah had prayed that God would shut up heaven for three and a half years. So there was a drought in the land for three and a half years. In other words, when there's no rain, nothing can grow. Uh -huh. And so everything died and dried up. But during the drought, during the drought of the season, God has sent Elijah to a brook. And there at the brook was water for Elijah. And God also commanded a raven to come and feed him. All right, so... While the drought was going on and while the devastation was going on through the land, God sustained Elijah at the brook and he fed him by a raven. Now, right now, we're going through a devastation, say a devastation. devastation. We have survived the pandemic. We, have, we are surviving COVID-19. That's a devastation. It closed down everything. It's a worldwide pandemic. People died. About 700,000 people died in America alone. Amen. So the pandemic devastated the land. Also, it devastated the church. Amen. The way we had church was rudely interrupted. It came to a abrupt stop because of the pandemic. Hallelujah. But God is telling us, what to do when the brook dries up? What to do when we used to come to church and have church the way we used to? What to do when, when it seems like church is not the same since the pandemic? God has given us what to do. Come on and give God praise in here. Hallelujah. Even though, even though, even though the church doors has been closed, I'm here to tell you that God is getting ready to open them. Hallelujah. And when God has open the church he doesn't expect us to go to the same church to go to church the same way we've been going amen god has given us a new direction say a new direction, new direction. god has given elijah a new direction now elijah was from gilead the land of gilead and instead of telling elijah to return to the land of gilead when the brook dried up, he told him to go to Zarephath, which is a foreign country, hallelujah, which is something different from what uh, Elijah was used to. And, and God is telling us today to do something different than what we're used to. Yeah. We can't come to church the same way we've been coming to church. God wants to change the way we've been coming to church. 
He doesn't want us doing business as usual, but he wants us to do business as unusual. Hallelujah. He wants us to change the way we've been seeking God. Come on and give God praise if I'm making sense. He told, he told, he told Elijah, yes, yes, the brook dried up. Yes, the place that you was nourished dried up. Yes, the church doors has been closed. Yes, people have backslided and some churches have closed their doors completely. But, but I'm giving you a new direction. Say a new direction. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I want to return to the church as the way it was. But the way it was wasn't good enough. God wants us to return a different way. Say, we're going to return a different way. Now, Elijah returned a different way. Hallelujah. During the drought, God has gave him a word. And verse 7 says, and it came to pass after a while, the brook dried up. Hallelujah. Because there was no rain in the land. Hallelujah. And the word of the Lord came unto Elijah, saying, Arise and get thee to Zarephath. Hallelujah. He didn't say arise and get to Israel, where he was from. He didn't say arise and get to Gap Gilead, the city he was from. But he said, arise and get to Zarephath. In other words, Elijah, do something different. God wants us to do something different. Amen. We've been coming to church and we've been doing the same routine, but he wants us to do something different. What do you mean, Pastor? He wants us to pray differently. Amen. He wants us to seek him differently. He wants us to seek him with a passion that we never had before. He wants us to have a drive for him that we never had before. He said, Elijah, I know, I know you are used to getting water from a brook. Hallelujah. But I'm getting ready to give you life a different way. I'm getting ready to move in a different way. Come on and give God praise in here. Hallelujah. A different way. Listen, listen. The, the Bible says this is the hour of the true worshipers. Them that will worship God in spirit and in truth. Not, not the ones that know church routine. We know church routine. We know church protocol. But God is looking for somebody he can talk to. God is looking for somebody he can lay his hands on. God is looking for somebody that will listen to him. Elijah was sensitive to what God had to say. Yeah. Now, it would have made sense for Elijah to go back home and to be sustained at his home during the drought. But God told him to go a different way. And what, what God is trying to tell us, he's trying to tell us to do something different now. Hallelujah. The old way did not work. Listen, the brook dried up where he was at. Listen, the raven stopped feeding him. Somebody said, church don't seem the same. Somebody said, I don't feel it like I used to feel it. God is telling us to do it a different way. Come on and give God praise in here. Yeah, yeah. God is looking for people that will listen to what he has to say. The Bible says, hear and your soul shall live. God is looking for somebody to listen and to hear what he has to say. And Elijah heard the word of the Lord because the word of the Lord told him to leave the brook. Now, had he stayed at the brook, Elijah would have died there. Listen what God is telling us. If we do things the way we've been doing it, the church will die there. Had Elijah stayed at the brook, he would have died at the brook. Hallelujah. If you do things the way you used to, you would die that way. But God is speaking to us in a different way. He wants us to go a different way. He told Elijah to get up and leave the brook. Uh, listen, we got to get up and leave tradition. Uh, we got to get up and leave church as we know it. Uh, we got to get up and leave the way we used to be doing things. Uh, I'm talking to the church folks on today. Uh, I'm not talking to the sinners, uh, but God is speaking to the church. Uh, he that has an ear, uh, let him hear uh, what the God has to say uh, unto the church. Uh, and God is telling us to go a different way. Uh, say with me, go a different way. Hallelujah. Leave your tradition. Uh, 
Get up, Elijah. There's no water there. Get up, Elijah. There's no food there. He's telling the church to get up out of tradition. There's no life there. Get up out of the way. You used to do things. There's no water there. Water is sustain is what sustain you through life. Without water, you can die. You can live without food. But you can't live without water. And the water represents uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, because Jesus said, uh, out of your belly uh, shall flow uh, rivers of living water. Uh, so the rivers of living water represent the Spirit uh, moving through the church. Uh, the brook had dried up. Uh, the church had dried up. Uh, there was no nourishment. There was no spirit there. Listen, God is saying, I'm tired of the way you've been doing things. It's time to hear from me. I'm telling you to go a different way. He told Elijah, go to a foreign land. In other words, do something different. Do something you've never done before. Pray like you never prayed before. Fast like you never fast before. Act like your life depends on it. Do something different. Go up to Zarephath. And there you're going to find a willing, willing woman that will sustain you. Come on and tell God yes. Come on and give him praise. Hallelujah. Verse 13 says this. This look, this what happened when Elijah found the woman. He said unto her, Fear not. Now, when we try something different, and when we go a different way, sometimes our hearts get full of fear. But God is telling you to fear not. He told a woman, Fear not. The woman says, I only have a little bit of oil, and I don't have much water. After we, after I make this bread uh, for my son and myself, uh, we're going to eat it and die. Uh, but, but Elijah told her, uh, fear not. Uh, in other words, you're not going to die. Uh, you're not going to go without. Uh, listen, if, the, if you do things uh, the way God tells you to do it, uh, you don't have to worry about dying. You don't have to worry about getting weak Because uh, God will sustain you uh, Listen, let me tell you uh, God told Elijah uh, To go to a widow woman's house uh, That didn't have no money uh, Why didn't he send Elijah uh, To a wealthy person's house uh, Why didn't he send Elijah uh, To a person that has means uh, The reason why God uh, sent Elijah to the widow's woman's house because God wanted Elijah and the widow woman to know that I am the one that is sustaining you. Come on and give God praise. Yes, yes, yes. Sent Elijah to a woman that had nothing. Sent Elijah to a woman that didn't have a provider. Back in the Bible days, your husband was your provider. And since her husband died, there was no provision made for this woman. Now, I wish we still had that same rule for today. I said in the Bible days, the husband was the provider. Nowadays, the man sits down and let the woman provide. Tell, tell your neighbor, there ain't no way to do it. That's not the way God planned it. Somebody said, well, my wife makes more than me, so I'm going to sit down and not work. But in the Bible days, the man was the provider. Say, in the Bible days, the man was the provider. And since she lost her husband, she had no provision for life. And that's why God sent Elijah to her house. Hallelujah. God knows when you need help. And God knows what kind of help you need. God sent the prophet of God to a widow's woman's house that had no money, that had no resources. That's why Elijah was sent to her house during the drought so that God can prove 
I am the way out of no way. God sent Elijah to the willow woman's house. Come on and give God praise. And the woman said, listen, listen, I don't have nothing. My husband died. I don't have nothing. All I got is a little meal. Hallelujah. And a cruise of oil. And after I drink this water and make this bread for me and my son, we're going to die. But Elijah said, don't fear about dying. And don't fear about being without. Hallelujah. Sometimes God will lead you in a way, and it seems like he's leading you to a dead end. But God said, don't worry about how I'm going to make a way. Just trust me. Hallelujah. God wants us to trust him. Hallelujah. God wants us to have faith in him. When God tells you to do something do different, then do it. So Elijah did something different. Hallelujah. Went to a widow's woman's house. And he told her to fear not. Hallelujah. He says, after you, uh, he says in verse 14, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, The bearer of meal shall not waste. In other words, you're not going to run out. Because God said it will not waste. You will not run out. Neither shall the cruise of oil fail. Until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. Hallelujah. I don't know when Elijah got to the widow woman's house. But I do know that the drought lasted for three and a half years. So however long he was there at the widow's woman's house. They didn't have to worry about being without. Come on and give God praise. When you move in the way that God tells you to move. You don't have to worry about being without. You don't have to worry about being in lack. For the Bible tells me that the Lord is my shepherd. And I shall not want. In other words, I shall not lack anything that I need. Because God will lead me in the right way. Hallelujah. You need to let God lead you in the right way. Lead you out of this pandemic. Lead you out of your situation. Lead you out of lack. If I'm telling the truth, come on and give God praise in here. So he tells her to fear not. Fear not. The bearer of meal shall not waste. Nor the cruise of oil shall fail. Until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she, did, and she and he and her house did eat, say, many days. Many days. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you that the Lord is able to sustain you many days. All you got to do is have faith in God's word. And verse 16 says, the bearer of meal did not waste Neither did the cruel of oil fail uh, according to the word of the Lord which he spake by Elijah. Uh, in other words, God is not a man uh, that he should lie. Uh, neither the son of man uh, that he should repent. Uh, has God said it? Uh, shall he not do it? Uh, has God spoken? Uh, shall he not make it good? Uh, so when he told Elijah huh, to leave the brook, huh, to leave your tradition, huh, leave the place huh, where you felt secure, huh, and get up and go huh, to a foreign place, huh, to a place huh, that you don't know where you're going, huh, to a place huh, that you don't know how you're going to get fed, huh, to a place, Elijah, huh, that you don't know how you're going to get water. Huh, just get up and go. Huh, because I told you to go. I need the people in this church to have enough faith to get up and go to believe in the word of God. If God tells me to do something different than I've been doing in the past, I gotta have enough faith to get up and do it. Knowing that if I get up and do it, God will not allow me to fail. I'm here to tell you that if you move by the Spirit of God, 
it's impossible uh, for you to fail. Uh, there is no failure uh, in God. Uh, yeah, Lord, but I'm used uh, to getting water uh, from this brook. Uh, I'm used uh, to going to church uh, and behaving in uh, a certain way. Uh, I'm used uh, to going to church uh, and doing things uh, that I've been seeing for years. But God has told you uh, to get up and leave the brook. The brook dried up. The way we had church dried up. The way we was doing things dried up. During this pandemic. And God is reopening us to a church of revival. No more business as usual. I'm here to revive the church. I'm here to move the church, uh, but you got to get up and go uh, to Zarephath. Uh, get up and go uh, a different way. Uh, don't go back uh, to Israel. Uh, don't go back uh, to Gilead, uh, but get up and go uh, down to Zion. Uh, down to Zion. Uh, stop by the city uh, of Zarephath. God is ready to show us his hand, but you got to have enough faith to get up and go. Who in here is ready to listen to God? Who in here is ready to go a different way? Who in here is ready to have church a different way? Who in here is ready to call on the name of the Lord? Who in here is ready to hit the streets? Tell somebody she's a save. Tell the drunk man she's a save. Tell the homemaker she's a save. Tell the girl on the corner she's a save. Tell the drug addict she's a save. Tell the ones that give it up. She's the same. Tell the homeless. She's the same. God is ready for revival. But he's got to have the people that will listen to him. God is ready to pour out the spirit. Because the Bible says in the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Old men shall dream dreams. The young men shall see vision. The handmaids shall prophesy. This is the last days. Time of revival. God is on his way. Back to soon. Jesus is coming again. We got to get ready. Get the church ready. Don't go back to your old ways. Don't go back to the brook. What to do when the brook dries up? Listen to what God has to say. What to do when the brook dries up? Lift your hands and say, here I am, Lord. What to do when the brook dries up? Offer yourself a living sacrifice unto God. Yes! God is looking for you to surrender. He don't want us to go back for what we came out of. But this is a new day. Touch your neighbor and say, this is a new day. This is a new day. God is telling us to go a different way. Tell God, yes. Are you willing to go? Are you ready to go? If you're willing to go, and if you're ready to go, give God praise right now. Come on and praise the Lord. Woo! Say, I won't go back. We got to go to church a different way. Tell somebody the brook dried up. 
traditional church dried up. It's over. It's over. God is looking for us to come with power. Say with power. power. Time for lives to be changed. Time for us to cry out in the street. Time for us to tell somebody Jesus saved. Listen, y'all, I'm on fire for God. I don't know about you, but I'm on fire for God. He has allowed me to survive the pandemic for a reason. If you survived the pandemic, you need to give God praise. You're not dead. Come on and give God praise. Dead people can't praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You survived. Say, I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. And because you survived, you got a work to do. Come on and give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's stand. Let's stand. What to do when a brook dries up? What to do when church been closed? What to do after we've been through this pandemic? God said, go a different way. Say, go a different way. He didn't tell Elijah to stay at the brook. If he would have stayed there and there's no water, what would have happened to him? He would have what? Died. He would have died. And God don't want us to stay in the same place that we've been in, y'all. Say, it's time for revival. Come on, say it again. It's time for revival. God is calling for a worldwide. Yeah, give God praise. Hallelujah. He's calling for a worldwide revival. The reason why this pandemic happened, I believe God wasn't pleased with everything that was going on. So God has changed. God has given us a chance to change. The way we've been doing things. Amen. Amen. Souls first. Amen. Souls first. Amen. I'm after the souls. That's right. yeah. Then God will take care of the rest. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for this word. This word has come straight from heaven. Lord, we know what to do, Lord, when the brook is dried up. When traditional church is not working anymore, we know what to do. We know how to pray. We know how to seek your face. And we know how to turn from our wicked ways. Yes. If my people, yes. which are called by my name, Hallelujah. will humble themselves and pray yes. and will seek my face, then, then will I hear from heaven. Yes. And then will I heal the land. The Lamb will be healed because people are praying. Hallelujah. Lord, we're praying for a change. We're praying for revival. We're praying for salvation. We're praying for clarity. Lord, we're leaving the brook. We're leaving things as normal and things as we used to do them. But we're going to do them in a different way. Hallelujah. We're looking for you, Lord, to come in a different way, Jesus. We're looking for you to come in power. Hallelujah. We believe that when people come in here, they will feel the power. We believe that when people come in here, they will be saved. We believe when people come in here, they will be delivered. We believe when people come in here, habits will be broken. We believe when people come in here, blind eyes will be opened. We believe when people come in here, deaf ears will hear again. Lord, we give you the glory. Hallelujah. Come on and give them glory. Lord, we give you the praise. And we're praying for revival. We're praying for renewal. We're praying for your spirit. Hallelujah. To fill this place. In the name of Jesus. Come in a mighty way, Lord. Come in a mighty way. Change our hearts. Change our minds. Let us hear your voice. And let us obey, Lord. Obey every word that comes out of your mouth. These favors, Lord, and these blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Let the church say, thank God. Say, thank God. Amen, amen. Say, I'm ready for revival. Say it again. I'm ready for revival. One more time. I'm ready for revival. God is setting us up for revival. Come on and give God praise in here. Hallelujah! I feel the Spirit of God. <laughs> he set us up for revival. <laughs> Praise the name of 
Jesus. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We thank God for those of you that's watching us on Facebook Live. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Those of you that want to be a blessing to this church, you can cash app us at dollar sign RW Center. That's dollar sign RW Center if you want to be a blessing to this church. Yes. Also, we have a um, YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel, and we want you to, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, the easiest way to find our YouTube channel, I found out, if you go to search in YouTube and type in Restoration Worship Center, Ypsilanti, in Michigan, because there's a whole lot of Restoration Worship Centers you know, throughout the country. So if you type in Restoration Worship Center, Ypsilanti, Michigan, our logo behind me will show up, and you click on that and subscribe to our um, YouTube channel. I want everyone to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Replay at 6. Uh, replay at 6. Replay, the replay would be at 6 o'clock. The, the YouTube replay would be at 6 o'clock. You can watch us on YouTube because we realize that everybody don't have Facebook Live. So for the ones that don't have Facebook Live, you can watch us on YouTube. God bless you. God, and happy Father's Day to everyone that's watching us. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you is my prayer. God bless you.